Hello, everybody. Welcome to day four of 25 days a week. Yes. Today, you can obviously tell we're reviewing Tommy High Bing. Tommy Hines was released in the K-Tale, like all the other, all the other, like, main interesting characters were. He doesn't, he doesn't have a speaking line, I'm not sure where he appears, but I know he appears somewhere. But, excuse me. Flex wheel drive, dirt, decals. He replaced, um, Flex wheel drive, I think. Oh, he replaced Flex wheel drive, I think. So... Place flex wheel drive, which was I believe a 54 racer. I'm not sure. I believe it was. Sponsors are primary sponsors are Piston Cup, Byline, Vaulting, RBM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, Bell Chain, 54, Flex Wheel Drive, Dirt, Decals, Decals in the back here. Yeah, Flex Wheel Drive, Dirt, Decals. I have nothing to compare it to. So I never got the hearts one plus the drive. Oh, it couldn't be plus the drive. I forgot. Flex wheel drive. It's a sponsor. So the flex wheel drive racer I did not get. Um, but I did get this one. This black rim, which is kind of neat because I have to be attention on days do not have black rim. He's been released so far. Like, like, um, if I'm wrong, um, if, you, if I'm wrong, just tell me. He's been released so far in a single. He has time to have things. He's probably just one. So, R2 logo up there. Tommy. Black the black. So then, it's just random car three racers. Trying to read these right here. I believe I reviewed this. I reviewed it that way. Um, he he's um a background pistol cup racer. He's not like Bobby Swift, who reviewed yesterday. He has really no speaking line. He's just there. He got he replaced the other flex wheel drive racer, and, and the other one replaces him. I believe I just forgot. I believe I just forgot his name. I will search that up for you so you can know. Okay, we're back. I figured out who he was. Herb Kerbler, next generation flex wheel dry racer, replaced Tommy Hibbings. Not in the finale. He was there for a little while. I believe he wasn't. Tommy Hibbings stuck around a little longer than some of the other stock cars. Like, the Thrallman, Parker Breaks in, they got fired right after Jackson Storm came in. Back, back here, he has lines flex wheel drive. Um, 54 with tire mics, um, on, kind of, the, the, his, um, he has his headlights, his grill, so I don't get anything, oh, there are the vents, right there, the vents right there, the vents are right there, it's really bad, I can't go with the vents, ah, I can't, I can't remember, focus, keep focusing on other stuff, so, those are the vents right there. Bobby Swift does not have those because main piston cut razor says black that. Um, for some reason, they just lack having um vents. Or as this guy was revealed months ago, so yes, he was. He is easy to find. You can probably find him if you don't have time. You have vents. Good thing Christmas is coming up. You might get them for Christmas. You might see Tommy under your tree or in your stocking. So, um, yeah, it's Tommy Hibings for you. As I'm, let's just get some some comparison. Tommy Hibings is actually a hard model to find a correct. It's kind of unique here. And she's kind of different, you know. It kind of looks just different. But that's his model, Brick Yardley. You see, Brick Yardley does not have the vents. 
along with early, early Pistons Cup racing releases like Rev Vingo, Buck Barely does not have the Vince. So, yeah, these two do have black tires. Probably should scratch that. So you see, all have black tires. Is um, they're really not. They're really nice. So moving, moving on. So he was released on May first, like all the other main stock cards, like I said earlier. Um, things to know about about him. Um, he was actually um one of the first revealed in December of last year. Here, here, like I said earlier. Other one. The one is he was lasting, like I said earlier. He didn't get replaced as like some of the other stock cars did, by the way. So, I guess that this wraps up my review of Tommy Hyvinks. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.